Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. This is my 90s model Nikon Research Microscope. I bought it so that I could get some sweet 4K microscope video. And so I bought a microscope that has really high quality objectives. So these are plan APO objectives. So it's got a plan APO four times, 10 times, 20 times, 40 times, and a 60 times objective here. Well, that's awesome and all, but unfortunately with microscopes and, you know, really with any advanced machinery, there's a learning curve. And with this particular microscope, I have some dust in my images. This is where the camera mounts up here. This is a, a Nikon F mount. One of the ways that you track down dust in a microscope is you, you rotate the various elements and you see if the dust rotates. So one of the things that you can do here is you can loosen up this back screw and you can rotate the Nikon mount here uh, and you see if the the dust rotates, it doesn't. So that means that it's somewhere else in the objective path. This is a YIDP trinocular head. Uh, and so there's a, there's a mirror switch on the back. I can move that. Um, you know, I can rotate objectives and when I rotate the objectives, the dust is still there. And there's also the condenser down here. And so there are a number of different lenses and you can rotate those and the dust doesn't move. So after having done all of that, I'm fairly confident that the dust is somewhere down here in the field lens. And so this is where the light comes up. The lamp house is in the back. It's a halogen lamp, lamp house. And it goes through the body here on the inside and it's redirected by some mirrors. And so it goes up this way into the condenser, into the objectives, into the YIDP, again redirected by mirrors and into the camera. At this point, I think, I think the field lens is the culprit. The problem with this particular microscope is that it looks like it's fairly difficult to clean the inside of this lens. So I think we're gonna have to remove the objectives, the stage and the condenser just so that we get enough room in there to, to remove the lens. This is normally something that a technician would, would look into if your microscope is under warranty. But I bought this thing on eBay and uh, I don't have a warranty as far as I know. So I'm just gonna try to repair it myself. All right, and this is a view of the field lens with the light turned on. Um, and you can see that there are a lot of little dust specks there. Usually the first thing that we do is we try to, you know, blow those out. And that does move things around a little bit. But it's still pretty obvious to me that there is a lot of dust on the lens there. If we change the focus ever so slightly here, you can kind of see it. And it looks like it's on the, on the underside of the lens. So we're gonna try to take that lens out. Um, hopefully you can see here in this view, there's like a little metal clip right here at the back. <clears throat> and it looks like it's a spring clip. It looks like it kind of goes up and it comes back down. Um, and there are screws here, here, and over here on this side. Uh, again, I can't get a tool in there, so that's why we have to take off the condenser and the objectives and the stage and all of that. So let's get started. So one of the cool things about this microscope is that it has tools built in. So on the back back here, it comes with all of these different uh, hex drivers, Allen keys, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I am missing one, it didn't come with it, but uh, it's not a big deal to find the missing one. I've got a lot of tools. All right, so let's uh, remove the objectives first and we're gonna be careful not to touch the bottom of the objectives to the stage here. Uh, we may be able to lower the stage. Give ourselves a little bit of clearance there. There's a, um, a set screw right here. I'm just gonna back out that set screw. There we go. And we'll just set that aside on its back so that the tops of the objectives don't get uh, scratched on the table. All right, so now we've got an opening here. Uh, that sucks because dust can get in, but at least the dust would have to go upward to get in. All right, and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the condenser. And so the condenser is this thing right here. And as I said before, it's got two lenses. It's got one at the top here, and then it's got another one above that. And the one above it can be moved like this. So you can usually tell if your dust is, uh, is on that lens by moving it. And then the one below it, if you loosen up the set screw on the other side back here, you can rotate the condenser 
and you can tell that way if it's on your condenser. Uh, so there is a set screw on the back back here, and I'm just gonna back that out a little bit, raise the stage, and lower the condenser. All right, try not to touch the top lens to anything. And there's our condenser. Okay, and now we're into in unknown territory for me here. Um, we now need to remove the, the stage. I believe that this is a set screw and there's a dovetail right here. So the set screw just holds it onto the dovetail. Uh, I'm not sure though, because I've never removed it before. So let's see what happens. I need to find a place where I can grab to hold it because it looks like it's heavy. Loosen that up. Okay, I figured it out. So it just requires a little bit of pressure. There's apparently a ledge at the bottom, which is great. So the stage can't fall off. That's a good design. And so I'm just pushing downward with my thumb here and pulling upward with my finger. And so that lifts the stage off of the ledge. And that slides off the dovetail. And now I should be able to remove these screws on top here. They look like they are actually Phillips head screws. Enough clearance there to remove these. Seems like I do. Oh, yeah, I can feel the spring coming up. This is good. I think this is exactly what I needed to do to access that lens. So I'm just going to grab this out of here very careful. Not to drop the screws on the lens and scratch it, hopefully. All right, and there's that spring holding the lens down. All right, and I'm going to just attempt very carefully to lift this out of there with some tweezers and not touch the lens. It's just resting there. I can just grab it on the side and I can lift it out and clean it. All right, there's my lens. It's thick, it's thicker than I thought it would be. Cool. All right, so this is a view uh, inside the field lens of the mirror. And as you can see, it looks to me like that mirror is very, very dirty. A lot of dust there. The lens actually looks fairly clean to me, but the mirror is very dirty. So I think we probably need to clean that up. All right, so I think I mentioned before that I am absolutely 100% not an expert at this. Uh, this may not be the best way to clean this mirror. I am just going to try some stuff. So in the past, what I've done is uh, I've just used like a lens cleaning cloth and kind of stuck my hand down in there and tried to clean it off. So I'm going to try that first, I think. We'll see what we get with that. This might be a extraordinarily stupid idea. I have no idea. Quite a bit of dust on there. And after I've done that, I figure I'll try to blow it out with a uh, bulb. Although I worry that I'm just blowing the dust further down into the chamber. Like maybe I should have this upside down or something while I'm doing this. I don't know. Can't really get much worse than it already is, so I'm not too worried about it. I've heard that balloons sometimes make good dust attracting surfaces. I don't think I actually have a balloon on me right now though. All right, and just to finish up here, I have these DSLR sensor swabs. I use Eclipse cleaning fluid with these. They're individually uh, sealed in these plastic bags so that they can't get any dust on them. And there is a chance that whatever this Eclipse fluid is will destroy some sort of coating on the mirror and totally screw it up. So I don't know if that's the case or not. I still see some dust in there and I would like to get it clean before I put everything back on. So this is a fresh swab 
I'm just gonna put some sensor cleaning fluid on it and stick it down in there and we'll see if this gets it mostly clean. Hopefully it does. I hate cleaning optics. It's my least favorite job. I feel like I'm no good at it. But it has to be done. If you want decent images, or you gotta pay somebody to do it. And I think like the nearest service center is like in another state or something, so that's why I'm doing it myself. This is the bottom surface. It looks to me like the top surface is all beat up. You probably can't see that on the video because I'm not focusing on it. There we go, somewhere in there. So, not super clean, but better than it was, hopefully. Let's see if that works. So I'm not sure if this is clear or not, but there's a, uh, there's a line bisecting the lens there. So I'm not sure if that was a groove that was manufactured into it or if that's two lenses put together. It's probably a groove, but I'm not sure. All right, let's drop this thing back in there and put everything back together. That's ridiculous. There we go. Looks like I may need a new field lens. Thing's pretty beat up. And we'll screw down the plate. It goes on top. All right. It looks a little better. We'll see if it works now. All right, and reinstallation should just be the reverse of disassembly. First, we'll put the stage back on, and into the dovetail if we can. There we go. Tighten down the set screw. There we go. Reinstall the condenser. Being careful not to bump the top lens on anything, hopefully. And reinstall the objective head. This confused me the first time. You can't really tell, but there's a, uh, there's a gap here. So the dovetail has a gap. It, it goes from solid dovetail here to a gap right about there, and the gap lasts until the end, and then there's solid dovetail at the end. So the first time, let's lower the, uh, the stage down here. Raise up the condenser. Lower down the stage so we have some working room. So the first time I reinstalled this head, I didn't know that and I really freaked out because I thought what you would do is you would just slide it on from the front here, but that doesn't work. So what you want to do is you want to put this, this notch in the middle and just lift it up and then it slides in. There we go. So you got to kind of wiggle it until it's centered. And once that's centered, tighten down the set screw. So it can't come loose. Objectives reattached. Stage is reattached. Condenser is reattached. We're ready to test this thing out. I'll put the camera on top and we'll see if we get a uh, clearer image this time. Let's try 20 times. Here's our 20 times. Oh, no, there's my spec. Damn, and we should be able to focus the condenser here. Yeah, moving the condenser brings it into focus. Okay, I am not at all sure what is causing that. Let's see, I'm going to rotate the condenser here. Rotating it does not rotate the spec. 
Yeah, I'm rotating it right now, and the spec is not rotating. Moving the stage. It's still there. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep looking. 